Hi my dear students today we are going to discussing the topic lung capacity I hope before all topics you understood okay so capacities of lungs respiratory volume is an important aspect of pulmonary function testing because they can provide information about the physical condition of the lung as well as the diseases so respiratory capacity it is sum of two or more volume factors such as uh, age sex body build and physical condition have an influence on lung volumes and capacities and lung usually reach um, their maximum capacity in early adulthood and decline with age after that in normal breathing a rest approximately 1 by 10th of total lung capacity is used greater amounts are used when it is required by the body such as while exercising all pulmonary volume and capacities are 20 to 25 percentage smaller in women than in men the amount of air in the lungs can be subdivided into four volumes and four capacities so lung volumes first one is the tidal volume tv okay it is the volume of air is inspired or expired during normal respiration it is approximately 500 ml that is a healthy man can inspire or expire approximately 6000 to 8000 ml of air per minute okay and the next is the inspiratory reserve volume that other is irv it is the additional volume of air a person can inspire by a forcible inspiration this averages 2500 ml to 3000 ml and next third one is expiratory reserve volume erv so it is the additional volume of air a person can inspire expire by forcible expiration expiration this averages 100 ml to 1100 ml next is residual volume the last one is residual volume yeah so the residual volume it is a volume of air that remains in the lungs even after the forcible expiration this averages 1000 1100 ml to 1200 200 ml by adding few respiratory volume on can derive various pulmonary capacities which can used in clinical diagnosis the first one is what inspiratory capacity for the total volume of air person can inspire after a normal expiration this can, uh, includes tidal volume and expiratory reserve volume so that means tv plus irv that is equal to how much you will be get 3600 ml and next is expiratory capacity that means cg okay so here that is the total volume of air a person can expire after normal inspiration so tv plus erv so the next is the functional residual capacity functional residual capacity it is a 2400 ml volume of air that will remain in the lungs after normal expiration this includes erv plus rv okay so this is what yeah you will be get 2400 ml in air and next is vital capacity the maximum volume of air person can breathe in after a forced expiration that is what vital capacity this includes crv tv and irv or the maximum volume of air a person person can breathe out after a forced inspiration it is 4800 ml next is total lung capacity tlc total lung capacity so the total lung capacity of air is accommodated in the lungs at the end of forced inspiration this includes the rv erv and the tv and the irv that means there there are four capacities are there or vital capacity and the residual volume it is 6000 ml how much this 6000 ml yeah all of you understood about this topic lung capacity okay thank you